Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a brand new hair video for you today. If you are new to my channel, I do suffer from CCCA alopecia. And if you've been here before, you already know what type of video this is about to be. <laughs> welcome back to I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Listen to me, this is the first wash day you're seeing in a long time. One, my flare up is killing me right now, okay? Like my scalp in this video is on fire. Like it's literally on fire. I'm losing a lot more here. Like I don't even, this, I can't even give you an update. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's the same, it's just the same. It's 100% the same. Now the one thing that I will say is in this video, I did not um, use regular conditioner. Because one, I'm out. And two, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> so, in this video, I'm washing my hair with the Oneka shampoo. I made an Amla hair mask with just water. I didn't add anything extra in it because I, you know, my scalp was still on fire. So, I was just trying to limit what I had in my hair. And then I also used some clove water uh, spray. Now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. I don't know what's happening. I don't know. I don't know what I did. I, all I know is my hair may not be as black as I thought it was. Because after I used the Amla um, hair mask and the clove water together, I had brown tips. Okay. <laughs> You'll see it later on in the video. Like I had, I literally had brown tips and I was very confused as to what I was seeing. I was like, yo buddy, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> but anyways, um, this wash day was definitely difficult for me. You may not see it in my face, but it really was difficult because I wasn't able to actually get in and scrub the way I want to scrub my scalp. And I haven't been able to do that in months, probably since I've been diagnosed with this stupid thing. Like, oh, <laughs> it's, it's so hard washing my hair. It's so hard combing my hair out. And I'm just losing a lot more hair. Like this month and by this month, I mean, we're in October right now, but the last couple of months, so September and, and August, I've been losing a lot of hair. And I just, you know, <laughs> it's depressing. <laughs> oh, and I know you hear me laughing, right? But what else am I going to do? Cry? Like, I can't cry right now. I can't. Like, it's just, it's going to be too much, okay? But um, I had a follow-up with my doctor. Still no word on the dermatologist situation. So once I figure that out, I'll let you guys know. I, I have been reading up on a few different things that I may want to try. I might be trying out a new clay because, you know, I use the Aztec clay here and there. But I need to try and find other things that will help my scalp. It's not even, you know, I know I keep saying it's not even about the hair loss and then I complain about the hair loss. I only complain about the hair loss because I can't comb my hair, my hair not get tangled and me seeing like half my head in the sink, right? That's why I complain about it. <laughs> I need to find something to soothe my scalp, like 100%. I was reading up on Witch Hazel, um, stating it was like a few articles that I read were saying that it helps with inflammation of the skin and your scalp technically is your skin, but I don't know how I feel putting Witch Hazel on my scalp so I'm gonna try and find a study to see if it can work now does it specifically say it's good for alopecia no it does say it helps with um, inflammation on the scalp also um, sores dryness itchiness stuff like that so all the symptoms that I currently have <laughs> I just need something I need I am trying my best I'm just, I don't want to buy anything new just because I have an appointment coming up, right? Well, hopefully, fingers crossed. I just want to be able to just maintain and not lose anymore. 
but that's a wishful thinking right there okay but that's as far as it goes in terms of what i have coming up planned for my hair it's gonna be a bunch of clay <laughs> i'm gonna try to find something that can soothe my scalp and i'm not mixing amla and clove water ever again because why is my hair brown <laughs> <laughs> and you know i thought it's because i didn't wash it out properly and i went back and i did i washed my hair again like i rinsed it out and no my tips are real brown and just like you know <laughs> you'll see it <laughs> anyways that is it okay that's as far as the update goes there's nothing changed my scalp's on fire the middle like right now i do my wash day is coming up and the thing that's scaring me is the fact that if I rub my finger on my scalp, I can feel things. Like, I don't know if it's dead skin. I don't know if it's the scarring. It doesn't look like dandruff. But I can feel, I can literally feel stuff on my scalp. So I really think it's the scarring. And I don't want to rub it and irritate it because, um, yeah. <laughs> like i'm gonna be permanently bald there like what is this okay so that's my dilemma i thank you so much for watching and following along with this journey because you know your girl is just all over the place sometimes okay but yeah any suggestions are welcome like all suggestions are welcome and yeah if you are dealing with cc cc oh if you're dealing with ccca alopecia i am so sorry i feel like any suggestions are welcome. Um, if I, like I always do, if I try something, I'll share it with you. If it works out for me, do your research. Check to see if it works for you. But yeah, that is it, okay? This is just the wash day. The next part of the video, oh, it's not in this video. Ooh. <laughs> that part? Oh, the green, the green tips, the brown tips is going to be in the next video. Yeah, listen, but do you see how my hair looks right now? By the time I get out of the shower and get in front of the mirror, it was a hot mess. It was a mess. But that is it for this video, y'all. I will see you back here for another one. All right. Bye.